mate, it hit me like a train. I need to get over here. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, in the back of oh, hey, hey, I slipped. Yeah, my foot's wet. There's a hole in my foot. If you're around here somewhere, we'll be alright. I'm on the stones anyway, so... Well... Good afternoon. Finally... Finally, finally... The wind has dropped. Storm Aram, whatever they are calling it is. And we are heading over. Oh yeah, there's water inside my waders. Finally that storm's passed and uh, we are finally getting out on the rods to try and get into some basils. We had a brisk northeasterly wind. Come over here mate, I'm on the stones. We had a really strong northeasterly wind last week that really ruined the chances of fishing totally. Oh here you go, look, here you go. Nice and shallow here. Northeasterly wind that was ripping through last week. It was cold, no good for us, no good for fishing. But finally, it's dropped off and got the chance to get out and do some fishing. Chances of catching a fish today are, I don't know, five, let's say 50 50. But the plan is, is to wade. As you can see, we've just waded out over this bar to your spot literally nothing to hide here here we are in the eyesight of a lot of people so fuck it it's minor language but who cares but yeah we're gonna just drill some soft plastics some hard lures a little bit of everything jesus christ my arm's hurting so much let's just swap over yeah so We've just waded over. We're gonna smash some soft plastics over the bar here. Hopefully we can get into something. It's been a little bit difficult recently. We have picked up fish here and there, but it's not been the best. So going into December, this is the time for a big fish. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get one today. That'd be lovely. Always a little bit murky, so I'm going to start with a 29 gram Savage in white. Just got to be careful to not get this stuck on the reefs, but I'm just going to drill it. Bit of swell breaking. It's a smaller tide today, so not much movement. As I say, the water is dropping now ever so slowly, so birds around probably because of oh I just got a knock I just got a knock mate definitely lots of weed around because of the storms that we've had in the last couple of days so lots of birds around probably picking up all the crustaceans and worms and maggots and everything else hopefully that gets the food chain going and there are some bass in here
exactly just what I said. Nice fish! Oh, big fish! Big fish! Oh, mate! Mate, it hit me like a train. I need to get over here. Oh! 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 oh. Wait, in the back of... Hey, 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 I slipped in the back of my bag. There's some. Oh, where is it? It's here. In my thing, there's some. Well, I'll try and actually get it myself, but then. Yes, man! Yeah! Solid. That's just uh, 50, 61 centimeters. Wow! Yeah! Well, watch this swell. Well, I've got him in a pool here, so let's just try and. Uh, Get him out. There you go. So they will keep him in this pool for now while Benny brings his rod in. You are not going anywhere, mate. Look at that, that's a powerhouse. Somehow slipped over on the rocks as well when I was trying to land it. I had to cross over from this bit where Benny is and a wave came and just smashed me and I was down on my ass here. Lucky I uh, didn't fill myself up, but yeah, what a start. Yeah, boy, what a start. Been here for what five minutes, and this thing just smashed me. I had a fish take me a cast before, and then I cast straight in the exact same place, and then bang, absolutely smashed me. 61 centimeters, proper big flank of silver. I thought he was actually bigger. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was actually much bigger. But does he look good in the sun? Yeah, mate. Bang yeah. Bang. yeah. Oh man, perfect. Absolute belter. Absolutely buzzing with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just get him back in a nice little pool over here. Try and revive him a little bit and then we'll go from there. Sixty one absolute belter. revive him there you go off he goes boom baby boy yeah boy well we couldn't have asked for a better start so let's go again oh mate a fish just jumped out the water in front of me There's not a bass in between that, eh? Well, that fish really put up a fight. I thought it was much bigger, but its first run was strong and hard. But luckily it came swimming towards me, so... You see if we can get over there in a minute again. We're, we're playing with fire a little bit over here at the moment. There's a lot of uncovered rocks starting to appear but it seems to be that some of the fish are tucked in in really close into these little eddies that are being uncovered so when i say we're playing with fire it's, it's a bit dangerous so what we're going to do is going to move over to another head and just you know clock it around nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock and so on if there's nothing there we'll go somewhere else
seems to be an awful lot of mullet in here splashing around as I was saying before because of the weed that's been pushed up the beach there must be a lot of food in here and that's starting the process the maggots the flies the small fish the mullet the bass hopefully we can turn another cast into another fish that'd be perfect oh scary I'm wicked and I'm scary Man, there's so many birds out there. Well, I've just come to one of our high points above us, and I don't know if you can see in here. There's loads of birds, loads of birds. As I was saying, because of the big seas and the big churn from the storm that we've just had, there's obviously going to be a lot of bays in Jersey that are going to be, you know, full of crustaceans, worms, you name it, that's going to bring in the, the little bait fish. So. Hopefully these can come back towards us because at the moment they're getting further away. We're waiting to cross this gully, but I was up to my nipples when I was trying to climb over that a bit. When I was trying to cross it a second ago, so I got a little hole in the waders, so I was filling up my batty was getting a little bit cold. So hopefully in a minute we can get across and then there's some sunken areas in and around here, as I say playing with fire but hopefully it will hold some fish uh oh I'm gonna have to jump with this one oh yeah so bassy eh I wonder if there's gonna be a nice area where you can grab through Yeah, it's just that it drops down a bit. Here. You might have to wait five minutes. Give us a wave. <sighs> well, Ben's struggling to get over. Oh, have a pop. I'm soaked. I'm absolutely soaked, but who cares? Well, I've definitely got a hole in my waders. My bum is soaked and salty. We do us work in all the gullies, all the heads, you know, maybe it was potluck that we caught that fish pretty much at the start, but maybe not. Come on, baby. All the birds have seemed to fish. It's only small this one. Oh, I think. Oh yes, another bass. He's kiting off. He's only small. Ben's not even over yet. doesn't matter really what size the bass is, always try and find a pool to put it in. Savage again, just killing it. But yeah, he's in a pool now, so he'll be fine. He's only small. Let's try and get him out. small but second fish I was just saying maybe it was potluck that we were catching fish but only small 
as I say, look after them. Gone. Huh? Oh, oh, that was a good fish. Find the language. Oh, he's on the reef. No. Oh, mate, that just hammered me. What the fuck? Did you see that? I hope my camera's not dirty. Oh, where is it? Damn, man. Oh. Nah, I'll be all right. You just fish on, mate. Yeah. What the fudge, man? That thing crunched me. Felt like a really good fish as well. Well, this session couldn't be any better. Another fish. Finally, Ben got over. He was pretty drenched. I've got him in a, another pool. Make sure that he revives nicely. Thank you, Savage Gear, for making such a good lure. Nice lure. Another fish, free fish. First one was the biggest. Let's just roll him down. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Got a proper gob on him, sucking up those sand eels. Nice flank. I'm not gonna hold him up because he's he's only a puppy again, but it's just and there he goes again. Boom! Well this savage was brand new when I got it. As you can probably see it's torn to bits, the hooks all over the place, the little stick is about to come out. But it's really done its job today. Cloudy water really hairy ground, really rough, casting into the heads, it's bouncing off the rocks, bouncing off the head, going through the weed, but it's really done its job and held it together. It was brand new, pretty much brand new, and it's been smashed up. You can see the little stick coming out of it, but killer, absolute killer. I've always gone by Savage Gear, sand eels the original white mark one was the best yeah the white top and a glittery silver bottom but beggars can't be choosers you just got to go with the flow a couple of the versions i didn't like color wise and they weren't as bendy but these are really really they've gone back to the old school softness vibration and these are killer some of them have been too rigid but yes all in all game changer been a good sesh, three fish to the good. One 61, 62 centimeter fish, plump. Hit me within the first couple of casts, which was a really good way to get a cold bass session going. I've realized that my way did have a hole in, had water going up my body, and uh, water going into one side of my way is. Then got absolutely soaked coming through here. Um, so yeah, cold, wet, chilly, but it's been explosive. Three fish to the good, as I said, a 62, a 50 odd, and a smaller fish. Really does show that if you do get out after a big blow, there will be fish holding in particular areas. This is gonna be my new home, probably for the next five years. I've just moved into a flat with the missus, live around here, so I'm gonna give it a go. Fish it more, come back at night, work it out. Hopefully we can put a banger out of it. Today, the White Savage stood out, loads of hits. And yeah, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you're getting stuck into fish somewhere. Be careful, stay safe. Yeah, see you next time.